I, I know that the Met Gala is fun. Um, I know that Kendrick versus Drake is really fun. But can we just take a minute right now and take a break from all of that and all go watch what's happening in Rafa? Please? Please. You guys need to know what's happening in Rafa. Look, I, I know that the Met Gala really just saw a horrific. Shalom. <clears throat> I'll start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Arachach, Wadash. Dub ones to the elder apostles and bishops of the great Muslim that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the old four elect tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. So it makes perfect sense why they're, you know, flooding the media. Um, you know, you got. Everybody just uh, tuned in to this whole Drake versus Kendrick manufactured uh, beef created by their uh, record label. It's a lot of, you know, they put a lot of marketing into it. And that's why people all over just, they, they got their focus on that. And it's definitely doing what they wanted to do because... This is where the people's minds are at. They're they're totally distracted from what's really going on. This is why you need the watchmen. You need the the, the prophets. You know who's gonna uh, remain on their watch at all times. You know, because uh, you know this devil. He just that's the type of power that he has. You know he can um run all type of uh psyops and all type of distractions to keep the people away from paying attention to their moves. But um, it, it, it make perfect sense because uh, with what them devils are doing over there, this is, this is going to carry on to further conflict and it's going to rise up all those different uh, countries against them and i'm talking about those people okay the 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 the, the 48 small hat it's gonna get crazy man and um the, you know people that's still paying attention they're seeing that they're they're hard bent on pretty much clearing out that whole landmass for themselves and eventually this is this is pretty much gonna lead to everybody rising up against them. Uh Job twenty and twenty seven. And it says, The heaven shall reveal their iniquity and the earth shall rise up against them. And uh that's pretty much uh what's 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 going down. People that are still keeping their eye focused on what's going on they're seeing that you know this is a very inhumane that what they're doing um the scriptures even talk about how they covered fields and taken by violence and it's it's just right in your face and this is uh, micah 2 verse 2 and they covered fields and take them by violence in houses and take them away so they oppress a man in his house even a man in his heritage and it was already agreed upon between themselves and the u.s that you know if, if, if they carry out an attack that's not really effective 
to Iran that America would help to assist them take Rafa. So now this is what they're doing. They're now beginning their operations over there in that piece of, uh, of, of land. So they're trying to basically push everybody out. And this is what's going to cause these other nations to, to, to suddenly rise because this is an evil covetousness what they're doing. All right, even the scriptures speak about removing landmarks, right? Let me get that. Is uh, Job twenty four. And uh, when it says, why seeing times are not hidden from the Almighty, do they that know him not see his days? Some remove the landmarks. They violently take away flocks and feed thereof. And, you know, that's basically what they're doing with all these uh, cities in, 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 uh, in Palestine. They're, they're taking them by violence, by force, removing landmarks. Like basically, hey. Y'all got to get out. All this is ours. All y'all. Everybody get clear. Clear it. Or die. That, that's the ultimatum. And the ICC was going to put out a warrant against uh, Netanyahu. But the U.S. Uh, threatened him and say, uh, no, nah, don't do that. Lest we get involved. So Babylon is behind this whole operation that's going on. So every, everybody in the world across the board is going to see that Babylon and that and, and the least of the flock are the that that's the problem. All right, the world's not going to be in peace until the world <laughs> join together to deal with this issue. All right? This is the the hammer of the earth is responsible. All right? At all costs, they're 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 responsible, and the world is uh getting to see that. So let me go from there to Habakkuk two. Habakkuk two, and starting at five, it says, "Yeah, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man; neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is, and is as death." Yeah, and he's causing a lot of death and cannot be satisfied. Why? Because of his uh, covetousness, right? But gather unto him all nations and heap up to him all people. And when it says uh, keeper at home, the word is a uh, nawa. And it says down here, he is a proud man and does not rest, but seeks disturbances and wars. And that's what they're known for doing. So until uh, these other nations rise up to the plate, which ultimately the Lord's going to put the spirit on them to do so, they're going to take a pounding until they finally, you know, move with, with you know, with vengeance, with, with rigor. And they're going to, they're going to, at some point, they're going to turn up because they're not going to continue to be able to keep doing that. It's going to be some type of uh, intervention. Uh, but ultimately, the Lord is causing this because he's shifting all the focus to that side of the world because that's where he's going to judge the nations. All right. More and more nations are going to get involved. And that's exactly what the Lord wants. That's you know part of his uh, will. His determination is to gather the nations that he may pour upon him his indignation. And it's going to happen right over there in the Valley of De uh, Decision. So that whole region is, is just a hotbed. Okay. So <clears throat> eventually these nations, they, they're not going to be able to take this any further. And they're going to eventually, you know, come together and they're going to come against uh, the great whore and also uh, the, 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 uh, the land. All right. It says, shall not all these take up a parable against them and a taunting proverb against them and say, woe to him that increase of that which is not his. And uh, this is the greater the greater uh, Israel project 
that's uh, taking place right before your very eyes. This is how they plan to do it. All right, through ethnic cleansing was how they're going to fulfill that agenda. So the nations, that this is their sentiment. You increase in that which is not his, which it ain't his, but it ain't theirs either. It ain't none of the, the, the nations that are over there currently. That's actually our land. But right now we're still under the curse and we're scattered. All right, the most a, a bulk of us over here in the land of Babylon the Great, which is where we're going to be uh, delivered. The great deliverance to the, the second exodus is going to take place here. Before we get to go back to that land, it's going to be just a, a bunch of smoke and rubble All right, by the time uh, we get back. And that's why it's going to have to be rebuilt. It. So this activity is what's going to cause them to, uh, you know, suddenly rise up. So it says, well, to him that increase of that which is not his, how long? And to him that laid of himself with thick clay. Shall, and that's talking about the debt that the, the super rich is, is uh, you know, increasing. All right. And and that debt is is pretty much us being in the hole. They get to print it out. And the more that they print out, the the, the more debt, uh, the, the debt bubble gets bigger and bigger. And they figure they're going to lay that tab on the people while they continue to get rich and rich and rich. He says, shall, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee <clears throat> and awake that shall vex thee and thou shalt be for booties unto them? Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. Because of men's blood, and that's what they're doing over there, they shed a, a, a lot of blood, and for the violence of the land and of the city and of all that dwell therein. Woe to him that covet, coveteth an evil covetousness to his house, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. And that's why the, the elite, are, you know, they're, they're trying to plan their escape in case, you know, when this thing does pop off full, you know, full throttle, you know, when, uh, you know, they start to bring out the, the, the big toys like uh, Putin just recently, they have in Russia uh, go through a, a, a nuclear drill. And uh, that means that they, they're letting you know that it's, uh, it's getting ready to be that time. All right. The Lord is just right now holding back the winds. He, he doesn't want them right now to just get right to it because other things got to uh, play out and be fulfilled as well, like the MOT to the B. All right. Uh, the, the persecution, which we know is uh, coming very soon. All these things got to play out. And then that's when uh, things are going to move extra uh, quick. All right. <clears throat> he think his, his wealth is going to keep him in a safe place where he's going to escape his judgment. You know, they little doomsday planes, they uh, underground uh, uh, military uh, 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 bomb shelters or uh, what they call them dumbs deep underground military uh, bases or bunkers but uh, that's uh, that's not going to play out the way they want it to uh, play out so they just getting prepared just in case because they already know it's inevitable it's, it's, it's getting ready to uh, go up it says thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people. Yeah, they cut off so many uh, uh, nations, a lot of uh, women, children, a lot of uh, people that don't have anything to do with their whole conflict. They're they're, <laughs> they're getting sacrificed. They're getting put to death in a very brutal fashion, man. And has sinned against thy soul. So. Is the world is, is is paying attention. Well, I won't say the whole world because you here in Babylon, you invested in all this damn entertainment. Kendrick and Drake, that shit is all that. That's a they they choreographed this whole beef, in my opinion. You know, it is one big marketing scheme, and they got you people walling out, and you know this is all the uh, the talk of the people is right now. So these devils at the top that's in control of this, they know what they're doing. Yeah, y'all don't. Yeah, pay attention to this right here. This is entertainment. It's, it's fun, but so y'all don't see what we're over here doing. They they're just continuing on with what they've been doing since 
uh, uh, last October. And it, it hasn't really, it hasn't stopped. So this is finna get even more deadly. And that's why, you know, uh, the Lord has to reveal who this man is. He's the man of sin, the son of uh, perdition, man, because he's going to go into uh, destruction. He, he's doomed to destruction. All right. And the Lord just going to, um, he's going to allow this to uh, snowball until that, that final world's war. And uh, like we always bring out here, let's go to Jeremiah uh, 49. In verse um, 20, and it says, Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord that he, have, uh, that he have taken against Edom and his purposes that he have proposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. And that's just what this is going to lead to. All right. They're going to be drawn out to, to, to this war. And uh, they're going to be become uh, desolate because missiles are going to be shot. Just like they like to, you know, pummel these different nations, they're going to get pummeled. All right, that's what's going to happen. They're going to get a dose of, of, of their own medicine, so to speak. It says the earth is moved at the noise of their fall. What's going to cause the whole earth to, to be moved like that? When the missiles get to flying, when they detonate, that impact is, is just, is, 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 is going to uh, throw the, the earth off of its uh, axis, man. It's going to cause the earth to roll, uh to and fro like a drunkard. He tells you that in Isaiah the 24th chapter. This is at the cry, the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea. So this is what's going to happen at Esau's fall. Esau is going to fall hard, very hard, that the earth is even going to shake. And shake their ass right out of power. Because it's just too much uh, violence, too much uh, war. And that's why, and that's how you know that they're not the people because when the when the real people return, they're not going to be any uh war anymore. That's Isaiah the second chapter. Na nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Why, when when is Netanyahu going to uh, quote that in one of his speeches? Because they still fighting. You know, still drone striking. Uh, Iran, they, they just showed how vulnerable you actually really are, even with that uh, defense system you got. So, <clears throat> yeah, man, there's, you know, Jake's still asleep because they, they're, they're distracted. You know what I mean? But uh, we got our eyes open and we're, we're paying attention. All right, and and there's nothing that this devil can uh, keep secret. So, <clears throat> you know that that that's pretty much that. Um, y'all y'all saw the clips in the beginning. You know, they over there tearing shit up, and over here, everybody just you know, and then meanwhile, you got George Soros, you know, uh, uh funding his uh auto out of KO. Right. With these uh, campus protests, people are even starting to find that out. So every move that this, this man is making is really falling back on himself. And this is the reason why eventually he wants to, you know, regulate the Internet, take away uh, anonymity. Um, he's trying to censor what we say. You got to speak in cold. Because he, he's, he's, all eyes is on him. And his iniquity is being revealed. All right. The, uh, what does it say in Isaiah, the 32nd chapter? That uh, um, the, the, the nobles shall not be called liberal. Like you losing a lot of respect day by day. 
Now, Isaiah 32 and 5, it says, The vile person shall no more be called liberal, nor the churl said to be bountiful. And that's why, like it tells you in the prophecy in Obadiah, as well as Jeremiah 49, that you're going to be made small among the, uh, of the people and greatly despised. So you're not you you you're not seen in a benevolent light anymore. And that's when you know when when you start to notice that everybody is against you, now you start to feel like your back is against the wall even though you've been the aggressor this whole time. When he saw Phil's threatened in any at any capacity even if he's the aggressor he feel like his back is against the wall. He's going to turn up his violent streak even more. All right. He's going to he, he's going to go on the offensive, but he's going to, you know, he's going to overdo it. And he, he he's not justified. He just make excuses to continue to do it. Because he's hey, he what did uh, what did what was when. uh Isaac uh, blessed uh, Esau. He told him what that you're gonna you're gonna live by that sword. So that's Esau's way of uh, addressing every issue that he has. You gotta he gotta uh, do it with violence because he lives by that sword. But um, it's gonna fall back on him. All right, and and. You know, um, when we see the vengeance, you know, we, we're going to rejoice. All right. We, we're we're going to get to see the reward of the wicked. So. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, I, I had to uh, touch on that. You know, Lord willing, y'all brothers and you fuses will edify them. Give all praise to y'all. Shalom.